What is up guys, DSTK here. Finally, iPad OS 15.6 and iOS 15.6 is out in general and it's been almost 24 hours since I'm using both of these OS. So let's jump on its performance, new features, bug fixes, security updates, benchmark scores, main about battery life and finally should you update or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Already timestamps are down in the description because I value your time and you can skip in between to watch this specific part of this video. All iPad OS 15 and iOS 15 compatible devices will get this update. So let's start with the iPadOS 15.6. First thing first, the size of this update is 393 MB here on my iPad Pro. It may vary from different different iPad models. This update do have modem updates. So previously, if you have any problem related to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, 4G, 5G and all, then this thing all will resolve in this update. Here I'm covering all the new feature and bug fixes which are common for iPad and iPhone both. So starting with the Safari, then Safari now has an option in settings to close tab while clearing history and website data. You can see that you have a dedicated option to close all the tabs. Also fixes an issue in Safari where tabs are revert to a previous page like if you are on google.com and search for Apple and uh, after opening the Apple's website and if you want to go back then previously Safari was jumping to the starting page not likely in a descending order. It was quite irritating but now been resolved. Also Apple TV now have option to restart a live sport game already in progress and now you can pause, rewind or fast forward the live stream that's something new in iOS and iPadOS 15.6 if you have any smart home accessories or a setup unfortunately I don't have any at this moment but if someone sends you invite to share your home devices from your home app and if you are unable to recognize that person then you can report him as a junk that's the new feature within the home app another feature is in the communication safety so if you are setting up a new iPad or iPhone for your child then you can enable improve communication safety inside the screen time so basically Apple will send you diagnostic if anything sensitive going on at your child's iPad or iPhone and yeah don't worry it will all be personally protected. Also this update fixes the problem with iPad mini 6th generation where iPad was unable to detect the charger and USB type C accessories. This thing might be frustrating for the iPad mini user but in iPad OS 15.6 is completely fixed so you must update your iPad mini now. Also, iPadOS 15.6 fixes an issue that may cause braille devices to slow down or stop responding when navigating text within the mail app. This option is under accessibility, voiceover and braille devices. Also, now we have some extra keys like thumb keys, pen keys and more for braille devices. Also, if your iPad or iPhone is continuing to display its storage is full, even if it has the plenty of the storage space available, then this thing has been resolved now in this update. You can check by going to settings, general and iPad or iPhone storage. Mainly 64 GB variant had this issue. Also, I am sharing the screenshot of what's my storage before this update and after updating to 15.6. Seems like it's clear some type of cache files and all. So that's the all bug fixes this update have. If you come across any weird problem with your iPad then share it in the comment section. As far as the overall performance it seems okay but still if you have plenty of widgets on your home screen of your iPad and while swiping between the pages you might find a glitchy effect but if you remove the widgets then it will be all okay. So still Apple needs to fix this thing probably it will be fixed in iPad OS 16 I guess. Also one thing is worth mentioning here that if you are a creator like me and performing all heavy tasks like editing, surfing, making illustration etc right from your iPad then you will surely find an improvement and a better experience in iPadOS 15.6. Previously in iPadOS 15.5 many users had problem in rendering 4K edited clips from LumaFusion and iMovie. Actually it was taking way more time than usual. If I talk main about the battery life on my iPad then previously I was getting on average 3 to 4 hours of the screen on time in an average charge. But after upgrading to iPadOS 15.6 here I am getting on average 5 to 6 hours of the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100% charge. And I am well aware that back in iPadOS 14.8 I was getting on average 7 to 9 hours of the screen on time on the same iPad but I don't know what's going on at the Apple literally the drain is too much especially in performing heavy tasks like uh, video editing designing rendering 4k clips etc so I will attach the screenshot here once I finish the editing of this video on my iPad but yeah in terms of battery life there is a 10 percentage of improvement from iPadOS 15.5 so if you have any battery related issue previously in iPadOS 15 then it's worth upgrading to iPadOS 15.6. Also share me your battery experience in the comments. I love to reply them all. 
Also, iPadOS 15.6 and iOS 15.6 contain security updates and Apple fixes many of the issues related to users privacy. A long list is available here. So I'm mentioning this article link down in the description if you are interested to read. Coming to iOS 15.6, the size of this update is 457 MB and it may vary from device to device. Also, we have a modem update in iOS 15.6. So all related issues with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, 4G, 5G and all has been resolved now. Also about new feature as I already covered before. Also, we have some changes in the Apple Pay, but unfortunately it is not available in India. So I am unable to review it. Regarding bug fixes, the Apple Music was taking dominance in the dock by removing third party music app like Spotify from the dock which has been now resolved so no longer apple music will replace the spotify from the dock actually that was funny also fixes an issue where setting may continues to display that iphone storage is full even if it is available so if you have experienced any storage related problem then update your device to ios 15.6 Regarding the heating issue more commonly for iPhone 12 and SE user then I will say probably it may or may not be fixed here in this update. As far as the overall performance in iOS 15.6 I have no complaints at all. Seems like everything is working perfectly fine and somewhat speedy. I will say it is a more stable version in iOS 15. If I talk main about the battery life then previously I was getting on average 4 to 6 hours of the screen on time which was quite okay in a complete charge but after upgrading to iOS 15.6 here I am getting on average 5 to 6 hours of the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100% charge. And I will say there is a no significant improvement as such in terms of battery life especially for iPhone 12 series and older devices. But yeah for iPhone 13 series users are getting on average 7 to 9 hours of the screen on time which is quite good. So in short if you have battery related issues then more likely it gonna be same here in iOS 15.6. But still you can upgrade to this version because this update do have several security updates and overall the performance is quite good. But yeah, if you have some iPhone SE or older devices, then I strongly suggest to skip this update. But uh, for security reason, you can still install. But your battery experience will definitely not be an extraordinary. Here I'm sharing benchmark score for all iPhone models. You can pause this video to check it out. So as per my overall conclusion, all iPad users should definitely install iPadOS 15.6 and for iPhone users, I will suggest to download if you have a device latest from the iPhone X series means iPhone X to all the way up to the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max. Earlier devices than iPhone X series and SE users should skip this update though for security reason you can still install iOS 15.6. So that's pretty much it about iOS 15.6 and iPadOS 15.6. Hope you will get answer of should you update or not. If you want to know anything else then please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you for stopping by till the end and I will catch you in the next video.